Good morning guys, it's Claire at the Den. Den. Um, not quite sure whether the lighting's okay on this or not, but we're going to go with it anyway. Um, this is just another quick little tutorial of something you can make using your stamping up envelope punch board um, and a scoreboard. So what I'm going to start with is the scoreboard. Whatever scoreboard you've got. Oh, excuse me. To get my scoring tool out and it wedges really tight you want um you can obviously make these as big as you want but i'm just going to make a little one for now this is going to you'll find out what it's going to be i'm not going to tell you we're just going to go with it it's a six by six piece of card and you want to score at one one and a half and two inches then we turn it a full 180 and score again one one and a half and two inches. Then we turn it just 90 degrees and I want you to score at one, two, three, four and five. And then we put the scoreboard away. Now hopefully you can see those score lines on there. I can, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can because of the lighting. We then get the punch board and you've got your five score lines going that way that are all equally spaced. I want you to turn it that way so you've got your one, two, three, a big space and your one, two, three. What we then do is we line up this corner at one and a half and you punch. That's all you do, you just punch. So you've got that. I then want you to fold it over Line up at one and a half again and punch. Now, it does take a bit of pressure, obviously, and I am going to stand up for this because it makes it easier. So then we fold again, line up at one and a half, punch. It doesn't normally take quite as much pressure as that, but I am trying to do this round my phone as well. So. Obviously, the camera's directly in front of me. So, if you get my hair flicking in the way, I apologise. There's not a lot I can do about that. So, just keep lining it up at one and a half and punching. Do the fold again, one and a half, and punch. And then do another one right on the very end. So, obviously, that's just on a single piece, one and a half, and punch. Now I'm going to grab one that I've made earlier because it saves you having to listen to me punch, punch, punch. So, different piece of paper next, just because I can. And I'm going with this one. So this one's all done on both sides. So you've got the punching and the punching again on both sides. What we're going to do then is we're going to slide that out of the way. I'm going to sit down so we're back into easy, easy viewing again. And I am going to find my scoring tool. Where's it gone? Right, get your scoring tool. So you've got those punches there now. I want you to fold on every line and score. So we're going to do that. Fold it in on every line and score. And again. And your last one. Score. Now, let me think. Hang on one second. Yeah, fold up this one and just crease it a little bit. You don't need to score it so much. And then half fold, so the little bit you're folding in. You see what I've done there? So you've got your peak and your trough. And then this one, your second one down, your third one down, sorry, that's going to go that way. So what you're going to end up with, once you've actually folded, you can score it actually, it probably might actually make it a bit easier. So you've scored that one, that one's in that way, get in, and that one, so you've done that basically. So we'll go fold that way. 
fold inwards and fold that way. Score, score. Right. And now what we're going to do is open it back up again and roll. So you've got that as being your opening. Now you can see what's happening now, can't you? You can see what you're going to make. That will come across and then we're going to stick and stick and there you have one tiny little cracker, five-sided. You can make four-sided ones as well, but I like these. That little cracker fits two Ferrero Rochers in. It also fits three tea light candles in. Um, anything you want really, as long as it's a little present. So obviously then you tie up with a, a bit of ribbon this side, or a bit of Baylor's twine, uh, Baylor's twine? Butcher's twine. Um, and then obviously the same again around this edge once you've actually put your present in. So that was just one really quick little way. Obviously tear and tape or liquid glue, whatever way you want to, to do it, to be honest. Um, I'll just get a bit of double-sided sticky tape so as you can see it while it's not actually holding down. Rather than me actually trying to hold it for you, I've got the hugest pair of scissors, as a friend told me the other day. They are actually my decorating scissors, but I left my little scissors downstairs, as always. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm just going to do it really quick, just so that you can see what it looks like. And it's actually stuck together, and we'll get a little bit of butcher's twine as well, just to give you the full effect. That one... off, peel the backing off, peel the backing off, come on monkey, let's have you, thank you, and then just line it up and stick. And stick, that's it, job done. What butcher's twine have we got? Got more colours than I know what to do with. Uh, yeah, I love that. I think I have no idea where I had this from, guys. So I can't really sort of say get it from there. It's a We Are Memories Keepers one. Um, so it could well have come from a kit because I have got sort of like a, a batch of them. Um, so I think they probably came possibly from Crate and Craft at some point. I have had them at very long time if I'm honest um, because I was doing some sort of crafting at one point and then I stopped doing that for a while uh, then I've started again so I'm here we go I'm waffling so ignore me um, as I say you can use butcher's twine to tie it in you can bow it you can knot it you could do a combination of ribbon and butcher's twine um, but just remember not to tie that one yet until you've actually got your present in because otherwise you're going to be struggling. So there you go. One little present, gift wrap bag, whatever you want to call it. Obviously at Christmas I will be doing another one for you or a little bit closer to Christmas I will do it again. But I'll do it just to show you, you know, the, the extra length. It's, it's not difficult. It's obviously going to be, you're still going to score at one, one and a half and two. And you're still going to do your score lines on your one, two, three, four, five. It's just the size of your piece of paper. It won't be six inches. It will be longer, obviously, because you've got to get your length there. Um, so that's it for now. Bye, guys.